is going on guys there's Arx guns and for today i have a quick little video on some of the projects that i have going on particularly with these three platforms right over here but before we get into this review man i'd like to guess yes so please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe i'm still trying to continue to grow my channel i'm trying to get to now 3,000 subscribers i am slowly growing guys you guys are have been absolutely fantastic um, but if you guys continue to give me that support man it'll go a long way but to say no more let's go and hop right into this first one the first one's actually going to be the Glock 19X. Um, I have sent off all three of these, including the 19X, over to Impact CNC Machines, so Impact Machines, to go ahead and get the slides milled. Um, for this particular 19X, I'm actually getting the an RMR direct milled onto the slide, so it'll be no plate needed, just a direct mount RMR cut for the 19X. And it's going to be the rear irons forward setup, and this is how I'm going to be rocking this 19x so i'm going to be really excited about this one because i'm actually going to also get a radian ramjet for this one so that small compensator and i'm going to have that front forward iron set up for this one this is going to become like a new edc for me that i'm going to be running around and trying out and doing the ramjet so that'll be a whole separate set of reviews right over there for this one but i am very very excited for this 19x i've always wanted a super clean build like this of this just such an awesome looking gun man i just think it's a great looking color but that'll be everything for the 19X in regards to the slide milling I'm doing. And let's hop right into the next one. The next one is gonna be the CZ SP01 Tactical. And um, I am so excited for this one because this is like the Glock 17 style, all still people, all steel CZ frame model. Um, you know, you guys know this is the police and Czech Republic, like a police style. Um, handgun so I'm really excited to get this one milled out what I'm actually doing for this one is going to be a like a, an RMR style plate with a fixed rear sight so it'll be the RMR plate with a fixed rear sight and a new front post to co-witness and it's going to be like an RMR cut style for this one as well so I'm most likely will actually be getting an RMR for this one if not an RMR probably a 508T I'm not too sure just yet but I'm gonna get something of that set up for this one and um, I'm just really excited to redo this one to get back out shooting compared to the uh, Shadow 2 since it's going to be kind of a very similar, just slightly different setups. Um, and it's just going to be, this is just going to be a sweet gun. Really excited about this one over here. Um, but that'll be it for the CZ SP01 Tactical. And let's hop right into that next one, which is the Rock Island. For this last one, it's going to be the Rock Island Armory. Ultra Tac FSHC 9mm dual stack 1911. You know, it's got that log name. I call it the Hybrid 2011. But ultimately what this is, it is a actual 1911 style body frame. So it is a, instead of being like a frame and then like a separate piece being the grip and a separate piece being the slide and barrel, this is actually the frame and grip is all one piece and it's dual stack. So that's why it's an, to me, an actual technical dual stack 1911. But I'm um, very excited for this one, man, because this gun right here was $750, a dual stack 9 to 11, non-optic ready. So I sent this off to also get a RMR plate with a fixed rear iron sight and the front co and the front to co-witness for this particular setup. And it's going to be a five inch steel frame. So I'll get into all that in the details of each one of these videos when I do the review on them and um, including some costs. And, um, but I'm excited for this one because this is going to ultimately be right around a thousand dollars optic cut and just Dude, this is a lot. That means that this is going to be pretty legit right over here If someone decides to go if people decide to go this route, which is gonna be pretty cool But um, yeah, I'm very excited for the Rock Island Armory as well Obviously because this is a 2011 style dual stack 1911, which is some of my favorite stuff and um, Yeah, just excited man. I can't wait to actually get the slides in he's currently working on them right now He's got um, a bunch of stuff currently set up that he's doing, man, if you go on to his Facebook or his uh, Instagram or anywhere on there, man, you'll notice he's got a lot of stuff and projects going on and it looks like he's got new equipment. So I'm very excited, man. I really can't wait to get these back and do full reviews, but that'll be it for this quick one right over here, guys. Um, if you guys want to see more of this stuff, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. And yeah, man, you guys stay safe out there.